Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video we saw that the moment of inertia of a semicircle relative to the x-axis, that's as if you were to spin it around the x-axis, was equal to 1 8 pi r to the fourth or 1 quarter the area times r squared, the area of course being 1 half pi r squared. If you talk about the moment of inertia with mass, the a would then become the mass of the object. So we can either use mass or area depending upon what's available to us. But now we're trying to find the moment of inertia relative to its center of mass as if we're going to spin that semicircle around this line right here that goes right through the center mass. So the displacement from the x-axis to the center mass is equal to d and that happens to be 4r divided by 3 pi. That's what's calculated in a previous section. Now what that means is we're going to use the parallel axis theorem so that I at the x-axis, the moment of inertia at the x-axis, is equal to the moment of inertia at the center mass plus a times d squared or m times d squared if you have the mass. Which means we can then calculate the moment of inertia about the center mass by equating it to the moment of inertia at the x-axis minus a times d squared. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. So this is equal to I sub X, which is 1 8 pi R to the fourth minus the area, which is 1 half pi R squared times D squared, where D is equal to this. So we get 4 R divided by 3 pi quantity squared. So now let's simplify that and see what we get. This is equal to 1 8 pi R to the fourth minus so let's just multiply this out. We get 1 half pi r squared times 16 r squared divided by 9 pi squared. And let's see here, what can we do? All right, this is equal to 1 8 pi r to the fourth minus, so we have 2 goes into 16 8 times, so we end up with uh, pi r squared times 8 over 9, so times 8 over 9, times r squared divided by pi squared. So we could pull out an a, and we'll do it two ways. First, we'll just simplify what we have here as much as we can. So this is equal to 1 8 pi r to the fourth, and this will then be minus 8 over 9 r to the fourth divided by pi. So that's in its simplest terms in, in terms of pi and r, or if we want to pull out an area which is equal to one quarter, or one, um, an area would be, where do I have it? I don't have it. The area of the semicircle is equal to one half pi r squared. If I factor out a pi r squared, I could then say that the moment of inertia about the center mass is equal to, so I'm going to pull out a 1 half pi r squared, which leaves me with here a quarter r squared, 1 quarter r squared, and then minus, I have a 1 half, so that means 16, so that would be minus 16 over 9, because when I multiply this times this, I get 8 over 9 again, so that would be 16 over 9. I pull out a pi, so I have a pi squared in the denominator, and an r squared in the numerator. So I can also write it like that, and of course then I know that that's equal to the area, so this is equal to the area times 1 quarter r squared, minus 16 over 9 pi times r squared as well. And so there's two ways in which I can find the moment of inertia of a semicircle relative to its center mass if the moment of inertia at the x-axis is known. And that's how it's done.